last time you heard me read this, how to drive a Roman chariot. And it was another story about Albie. And Albie got in a little bit of a pickle. He scared a Roman chariot driver. So his chariot and horses ran away. Then him and his new friend Julia had to stop the chariot from going into the market and hurting lots of people. It was Julia's dream to drive a Roman chariot. So when she got in, she drove it really, really well. So well, in fact, that she was the fastest in the race at the Hippodrome. And the Emperor gave her a special prize. Because girls aren't allowed to be chariot drivers in the Roman times, he said that she could train to ride a real chariot. It was very exciting. And at the end, we turn to this page. <gasps> but can you remember what you guessed might happen? I thought it might be a little bit scary because of that saber-toothed tiger. But shall we find out? I've got the book just here. It's called How to Track a Saber-toothed Tiger. Shall we find out what happens? It looks like Albie might make another new friend. Let's see. I love animals. And I'm wondering what sort of pet I should get when a kitten appears in my garden. Here, kitty, 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 I call. The kitten is just starting to come closer when It's mum. I thought your friend might like a drink, she said. But the kitten is frightened and disappears under the bush. <gasps> what do you think kittens like to drink? Hmm, let me have a think. Have a look at the picture and see if you can work it out. What do you think that mum might be bringing the kitten to drink? I think that's a really good guess. I think it might be milk too. Quickly, I crawl after it, pushing through the tangle of branches. Here, kitty, 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 I call. When I get out, a girl is holding the kitten in her arms. Is that your cat? I ask. Yes, said the girl. He's called Claw and I'm Thorn. We're picking blackberries. Can you see all the lovely blackberries on that bush? I love blackberries. They're super yummy, scrummy. We're almost done when Claw wriggles out of Thorn's arms and dashes away. <gasps> oh no! Don't worry, I say. I'm sure he hasn't gone far. Soon Thorn spots some tracks in the mud. Here they are. They're footprints. Perhaps he went this way, she said. She's following the footprints and think he's gone all the way over here. We'll follow the tracks down the grassy bank, but... Oh dear! Oh dear! Giggles Thorn. That's funny! We search around for more footprints. What did the footprints belong to? That's right, they belong to a deer. What about these? I say. Thorn isn't sure. There's only one way to find out, she said. But <gasps> it's a woolly rhinoceros! Quick! cries Thorn. Follow me! She scrambles up the tree and I climb up behind her. It's okay, says Thorn. We're safe up here. She offers me a handful of blackberries. 
Might as well have our lunch while we wait, she grins. Eventually, the rhinoceros ambles away and we slide carefully to the ground. The ne next tracks we spot aren't right either. What do they go? What do they follow? That's right, it's a bear. Or the next. Oh no, what are the next tracks say that he follows? <gasps> it's a warthog, that's right. Or the next. What's the next ones that they follow? <gasps> that's right, it's a woolly mammoth. It's like a big elephant, but it's all hairy instead of grey. Thorn is worried. If we don't find him soon, it will be dark, she says. Suddenly, we hear a distant meow. <gasps> what could that be? Hmm, what animal goes meow? <gasps> I know, there's a dog. They'll be seeing a dog soon. What do you think? What do you think animal goes meow? Hmm. A good guess. Shall we find out? <gasps> That's him! I gasp. Come on! We follow the sound across a stream and up some jagged rocks until... <gasps> what have they found? That's right! There's the little baby saber-toothed tiger. There you are! Thorn scoops up the kitten and cuddles him close. Suddenly, roar! a huge saber-toothed tiger jumps out of a cave. Yikes! I pull Thorn back and we hide behind the rock. But Claw wiggles away and trots towards the tiger. Claw, stop! cries Thorn. The tiger leaps towards him. Oh, what do you think's going to happen? Do you think the tiger might eat thought eat claw? Oh, should we find out? And licks claw all over, purring loudly. Can you purr? purr, purr, purr. Phew! Oh, look, Thorn, um, Claw looks very happy. And Thorn looks happy too. It looks like Claw has found his mum, I say. Thorn sighs. I suppose I'd better go and find my mum too, she says. I wonder which one is Thorn's mummy. Thorn's home is very unusual. We share out our berries and then we paint our adventure straight on the wall. My mum would go crazy if I did this at home. I laugh. Would your mummies and daddies be upset if you drew on the wall? I think they would. We best draw on paper instead. That's the best place to draw. Don't forget to sign it, says Thorn. Back in the garden, Mum is waiting. Sorry I scared your friend away, she says. Perhaps it's time you had a pet of your own. <gasps> How exciting! I wonder what pet Albie will choose. And I think the next page might give us a clue. Have a look. What pet do you think Albie would choose? What pet do you think you would choose? I think I would choose the sludge slurpers from How to Win a Monster Race. There, here, at the bottom. But you could have a T-Rex from How to Grow a Dinosaur. You could have a dragon from How to Catch a Dragon. Or maybe an octopus from Plunge into the Pirate's Pool. There's sludge slurpers from How to Win a Monster Race, a polar bear 
from how to ride ride a polar bear but there's two animals oh did we see any orangutans in our supermarket zoo story i don't think we did i think we found some monkeys but not an orangutan and have we had a story with a gigantic snail i don't think we've had one of those either we'll have to wait until carol hart writes her next story to find out all about what will happen next to albie i can't wait see you again soon